Here in problem 37, I've zoomed in on the shape on circle J, and it wants us to find this value of Y. Well, we have 92 right here, so we know the other side is 92, and then it has to add it to 180, so we have 88 and 88, but that doesn't really do us a lot. But look what we can get. Notice, there's a couple ways to do this. First thing, you have an inscribed angle here, an inscribed angle there, inscribed angle Y, and an inscribed angle here. Now remember, inscribed angles are half of what the arcs are. Now, if this is 92 and 50, that right there in this triangle, that adds up to 142. That tells me this angle right here, if that and that adds up to 142, it'd make 50, that's got to be 38. Now if that's 38 degrees right there, and that's an inscribed angle, this arc over here is going to be double that amount, because remember an inscribed angle is half of what the arc is, so the arc is going to be 76 right here. But if this arc is 76, notice that this inscribed angle over here has to be half as much, it's going to match up to be 38. This inscribed angle is going to be the same as that one because they share this arc. That's the quickest and easiest way to get it. And on the answer key, it was option A for 38 degrees. And even looking at this, it looks small. One of the options was 92, which makes no sense to be more. One of the options was 88. That's way too much. The only two options that were even possible were 50 and 38. So right away, you could have chosen between A and B, even if you had to guess. But we shouldn't guess. We should just simply fill in everything we know and use these inscribed angles to help us know what uh, the arc links. Remember, the arcs are going to be double whatever the inscribed angles are, um, or the inscribed angles are half of whatever the arc is. Since that arc is 76, that's half as much, 38 degrees.